everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Friends from Work. I'm Tom. This is Sean. And on today's episode, we are going to be discussing The Walking Dead Season 11, the series finale. But before we do that, do us a favor. Uh, leave a like right now. Subscribe down below. Follow us on TikTok and Instagram. Spoilers. Yeah, spoilers. Links are on the screen and down below. And also, before we do that, um, this is kind of good. I'll call it like a a two-part series so part one is obviously going to be about the series finale um but we do also plan it's, it's going to be a little bit before we start shooting this because we got to plan it out properly we are going to uh, break down where when and how and why the walking dead became like the world's most popular show to its historical downfall so stay tuned for that there's no set date for that yet but as you're watching this, keep in mind, we're going to try not to touch on too many of the prior seasons early on because we want to save all those valid points for that video. So please stay tuned for that. It's, it's, I think it'll be one of our good videos because we have to do yeah. a lot of prep for that. We'll have a good discussion. Um, Alrighty. But season 11 of this show that I loved. I loved the comics. I never finished it. Um, I have to Is finish. the comic finished? Yeah, it's, it's done. done? It, okay. it, it was done. It's been done for a bit. It, I think it was like season know. nine. I didn't know when that. the show was on. It finished oh, around okay. that around that time. I, I thought believe. it was just like on a break. Like everything no, else. no. I, I believe it's. I believe it's been done. I, I'm pretty sure it finished up. Um, but yeah, this. Uh, I don't know how to start. I don't want to go like too heated in. Um, was better than the last season. I will say that this was better, better than the last two or three. I'd say um, ever since Rick been gone like i said we're not going to go into it but i think this was the best season since or uh, without rick yeah yeah that's a good way to put it yeah um, that's a good way to start off go ahead it wasn't that bad i thought it was it started off i didn't like it too much yeah there's this group like these they're called the reapers okay. and daryl and his girlfriend it was no just, one gave a shit it's just i don't know it just felt like i didn't really care um the season opened up, and like I said, they're all kind of scattered. They're dealing with that. Maggie's home got invaded, so she's on the oh, run. Oh, yeah, from the Whispers. To, yeah, yeah, not from the Whispers, from the Reapers. The Reapers are at Maggie's home. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Reapers are at Maggie's home. They've taken it, and Maggie's on. And they basically, like, butchered, like, all of her people. Um, So Maggie's on her way back to the hilltop to get help and then she runs into or she does make it and then they oh the yeah hilltop right. she, and, she didn't she was the hilltop the, and alexandria yeah. are recovering from the whispers yeah and they have no food so maggie's like all right you guys come with me we're just gonna go back we have food in my compound yeah but they're undermanned um outgunned um, um, yeah and maggie's like on a suicide mission basically uh negan comes into play he goes with them um, and for the most part, kind of, I did like Negan's arc for some aspects. I uh, will bring up some. Stuff. I like I like Negan. Uh, I will say this this whole season's like Negan does like a monologue apology to like every single character in the show at some point, yeah. like Daryl, Maggie, Herschel, Carol. Like at some point, he does like a two yeah. minute apology. To what everyone. I was okay with was doing it with Herschel and Maggie. The Maggie one, the one. Maggie one was fine. Cause she, he like like really he was like oh you still mad I bashed your husband yeah skull. like you know what I mean he got to a point because Maggie was like he was they were working together but he was like worried Maggie was gonna just blow his brains yeah. out like when, and as, she as was about to she, yeah, she was like she, I'm trying to keep my word and that's but a I little will. foreshadowing too because she does like double cross people at like two different yeah. times um, but yeah they're scattered they're all so they go back on this suicide mission to get Maggie's home back but that doesn't even work. They like call a truce and just leave. Um, in the midst of the truth, they call a truce, and Maggie pulls a gun and like basically murders everybody yeah. after they call the truce, except for the leader. She gets away. Um, so Wait, like are, you, I said, are you just review? Are you just recapping? no? I just I, oh. I guess I kind of kind of got yeah. into it, so I was going. So I'm not going to go all the way. But it was just showing that Maggie was just like on on a suicide mission in the beginning. She was on with the Reapers. It, like I said, it just all was for nothing basically. Because yeah. I guess they got the food, but they never got her place back. I feel like they could have done an episode like what they used to do. Do a little filler episode where yeah. they find a grocery store and there's fucking food. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. my god, we found a grocery store and there's a hundred walkers in there. Yeah. Um, but I felt like they wasted like six episodes on that shit. Yeah, the Reapers were pretty lackluster. That was one of the cons I had was uh, the Reapers, no matter what storyline, you put them in subplot, main plot, doesn't matter. They don't matter whatsoever. Like, even when, oh, Leah came back and was hunting for Hornsby and shit. Like, didn't matter. You could have had one of Hornsby's guys hunt them down. Yeah, it, like it felt like that was it pretty quick matter. anyway. Yeah, that didn't matter. Um, 
Yeah, but the I will go back to the part we talk about when Maggie murked them all when they had a truce, and then Maggie's like stupid ass. That was pretty cool. I was stupid like, oh, bitch. The, yeah. <laughs> like I was like, that was good. I, that felt some like classic Walking Dead Fuck feelings. You thought. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you thought, bah. And I was like, damn, shorty. So that that was a cool little jaw dropping moment there. Um, I, I, my my pros are pretty short, so I kind of highlight those, um, real quick. Uh, the creepy crawlers. Uh, that's what I called them. I don't know what they were called, but those like weird people in the house with Connie and the oh, guy from Snowfall. Oh, that was that was cool. Uh, that yeah. was weird. Like I was like, Ew, yeah, that was that. a pretty scary, like uh, like a weird take on it. And because like half it was silent because she was deaf. So, yeah, like, that's yeah. That was a cool. That was a good episode. episode. Um, that's like kind of when it started getting better when they were like fucking done with the Reapers. Yeah, I felt the Reapers like, were a waste of time. I that was like, like seven weeks. That's what I thought it was like seven episodes of them. It was like seven weeks. And like you're getting flashes of the Commonwealth, but it's yeah. like we really want to know about that. That's all and that fucking, they're like, oh, we're gonna do this Reapers arc for fucking four episodes. Yeah, fuck <laughs> and that. we're gonna just give you bits and pieces of the Commonwealth. Yeah, it's no like you're cares. fucking kidding me. Like, I felt like the Reapers should have just been like one episode yeah. or something. Maybe I'll yeah, say two. Two, to be maybe nice. two. Yeah, two parter. Yeah. But they dragged it along too fucking much, mm-hmm. especially at this this point. Uh, Even binge watching, I didn't care. So in my head, I was like, imagine this week by week. Yeah, deal with that for like a, what a month and a half. Yeah. When they finally got to the Commonwealth stuff, it got good. Yeah, it, got, it better. got better. It got better. The the middle of the season was like the meat of it, and it was just a lot better. There was a bunch of shit going on. Like it was uh, kind of some old Walking Dead vibes, where there was like three or four little storylines going on, where like everybody they're all kind of intertwined and we know what's going to happen we know who's double crossing who but they don't know yet yeah um and we got some like some old school walkers getting killed stuff as well yeah i will say uh regarding that the one thing they did bring back this season that it has felt a little bit left out is the goriness yeah. it felt like the the impacts of the kill no matter what it was like it was like damn calm down like for like it's been a while since i felt like the gore in the uh in walking i felt back. like the zombies were back this season like last year i don't know i, don't, I guess i wasn't as I can't invested remember but, like, but i felt like this season was a lot of zombies a lot of situations with very the gory like they made it very gore-esque like i was really happy with that um, they brought back that gore, and again, I really, I think my probably my favorite episode was probably that creepy crawler episode. That's why I, call, I don't know what they're actually called, um, but it's because it just it felt like it was something new, and like you didn't know. My, I think my favorite episode is the one where Eugene figures out that that bitch is a plant. Like he has to oh, marry yeah. she leaves, and he's like going crazy. That shit was good. And Horace, he tells him like nobody's gonna believe you, bro. No. <laughs> you signed a thing. Yeah. I was like, damn. Uh, um, but yeah, Hor- speaking about Hornsby, he's probably one of my favorite characters in this season. A good, solid villain. Yeah, I think him they and did Hor- a really good job. Hornsby and Mercer were two in- new intricate. Pamela was uh, fucking whatever. Uh, okay. She was whatever. I don't think she was bad or good. I think she served her purpose fine. She's just um, bland. I just yeah, I felt like Hornsby stuck out. He was yeah. kind of good. Uh, her son was a little twat. Fuck uh, him. No one cared. <laughs> exactly. I guess it's, it's, that's yeah. a good example. Like nobody cared. Um, but I did. I really liked Mercer. Uh, I thought he was cool. You always knew he was going to be on our side. Yeah, but. I knew it. But that, that was the thing they built up nice. So, uh, the in-between, because you knew the end goal with Mercer, is the story they were building with him. It wasn't like uh, – that was a, lo- a con I had with their dialogue a lot of the time during the season, pretty corny and t- stupid. But with Mercer, like, his story felt – I was always enjoyed by it, always intrigued to know yeah. more. Uh, in the sense of like where it's gonna go, I had an I knew it he was, was like a stand up guy. So yeah. like he did his job, but he also like knew when to be like, all right, yeah, let's cut the shit. Yeah. So yeah, um, the yeah, Agori aspect, and then speak about Eugene, always pulling baddies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess he didn't pull. Oh, I guess he, I guess the one he did pull. Yeah. The other one was a plant. Still, Shorty's like, I did like your book, baby. <laughs> I was like, damn, <laughs> I hear what it. But she got, was lying. Wasn't hey, she? no, she remember Hornsby said. She didn't like you, but she loved you both. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. W Riz in the <laughs> chat. Shout out. And then he pulled that girl. I was like, damn, this motherfucker out here pulling. I was like, cat, stop it. <laughs> Eugene was pretty good. I, I liked his arc. Um, like I said, my favorite episode, was, like I said, was one of the ones where uh, Eugene, Eugene was losing his Eugene shit. Eugene was going crazy. And, and then he was right. That yeah. was the best part. And then they frame it all on Eugene. Mm-hmm. It was just silliness. Um, but, yeah, also, I want to backtrack a little bit um, regarding with Maggie and Negan. Um, one thing I think it was episode, it was like five or six, seven, eight. I forgot which episode it was. Um, 
But it's when uh, Negan and Maggie sat. I always enjoyed the conversations, except towards the end, it kind of got a little fucking basic. Yeah, because they'd done it too many yeah. times already. But initially, when it came in, I think it was one of their best conversations because it was honest. Um, Maggie was just saying, "Oh, you killed my husband." It, was, it started like that. I was like, "Okay, whatever." And then Negan and Negan was like, "If I can go back to that moment and do it all over again." I would have killed all of you. <laughs> <laughs> like he was like, and she was like, why would you say it? He's like, you killed my friends too. Like that whole conversation is like, yeah, but you kill him. Like you kill my friends. And like, they're kids. He's like, you guys didn't think I knew about that baby. Yeah. Like, shit like that. That, that was like a good conversation. Yeah. That was a really, I think that really was, good. That's what I, I that always resonated it. with walking dead as a whole, not to get too much yeah. into the series as a whole, but like, that was a real conversation where it's like, Negan did kind of have like a lot of these people be having points where it's like, Negan, they were being a bad guy to, like, the hilltop and shit, but they yeah. didn't do shit to Rick yet. No. Rick, like, killed, like, Pulled up. 20 of his guys before fucking Negan, Negan killed Glenn anything. or Abraham. Yeah. Like, So, uh, yeah, it sucked, and he did it in a brutal way, but it's like, what the fuck? And it's like, but y'all murdered fucking 20 of my guys and, and kidnapped stole, yeah. kidnapped a baby, but they're like, oh, I bashed two guys' head with a baseball bat, and I'm the fucking demon. Yeah. Like, uh, that's where this like uh, main character blinders where we forget like what yeah. the guys we loved did. And I uh, loved that dialogue a lot. That was yeah. probably one of my uh, one of my favorite scenes between them was yeah because that it is true. It's like, true because yeah. because Maggie's was probably the thinking the same thing. Like I would have fuck if I wish that day Rick never locked you up. I just killed you. I yeah, like, she's probably thinking the same thing. Uh, and to go back where Maggie calls that truce and fucking or uh, disobeys the truce and mm-hmm. kills those people. Negan then leaves the group. He's yeah. like, I'm not staying with you guys. He's Bye. like, she's going to do that to me too. Like, cause they had made a truce where he yeah. had said, fine, I'll stay and help you. I'm your best soldier. Basically besides Daryl, you need me. But if that's, if we do this, you can't kill me. Yeah. And Maggie agrees. But then she's like, I, I, I'll try my best. Yeah. And then later she, they make a truce with somebody she hates way less than Negan. Yeah. And he do she double crosses her. And Negan's like, nah. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, you're going to do the exact same thing. Yeah. You put a bull in the back of my head when I'm walking away. And he kind of sneaks away. He leaves. He doesn't tell everybody he's yeah. leaving. Except, like, he kind of gets caught leaving. Uh, so that was interesting. He kind of does that a couple times, actually. He leaves yeah, and they run back in. I don't know. Yeah, but that, that but no. That, yeah, that, di- that dialogue demonstrated a lot. Because I, I remember uh, me and my uncle, when we would all watch it together, we would talk about that. I was like, how's Negan like the bad guy? Like, in the. How is he purely the bad guy? I should say he's like, and he said that too. He's like, I, I was a leader. They needed from I, our point of from our point. He yes. like when we hear the stories from the hilltop and stuff like that. But again, we don't know if they did yeah. the same thing, killed his people first, and then he did that. Maybe not. But from like Rick's group to Negan's group, like they were just enemies. I wouldn't yeah. say he was like they even to- till towards the end. Rick's group had killed way more of Negan's group than yeah. ne- Negan had only killed Glenn and Abraham. Yeah. Uh, and a few extras. Or Carl shot that. like 10 guys when he snuck into the base. That was they cool. killed everybody at the satellite tower. And then they killed the group in the car that, or they blew that group up with the rocket launcher. Yeah. It's like, that was funny. Yeah. It's like, it's like th- Rick's got 25, 30 bodies on him, and Negan Prior killed Glenn and fucking yeah. Abraham. Like, and it's like, oh, well, well, Glenn and Abraham counted more. You know what I mean? It's like, that's how I mean, we're yeah. playing. And how yeah, do we know, right, though? They yeah. could have killed their From version of Glenn yeah. and Abraham and their group. So it's like, we don't know. Yeah. But, yeah, Negan was this weird thing where, as you watch on, it's like, what, like Rick is kind of was a savage at, at this it's point. Season five, Rick. Don't yeah, worry. like, yeah. It's, Rick was a savage, and he was killing a lot of people. So it's like, it, like you said, it's real when Negan says, like, I would have fucking killed you all. You guys fucking ruined my life. Yeah. Like, <laughs> He's like, I should have just murked you all. I was yeah. being nice. Um. But yeah, that, that that's probably one of my favorite dialogues. And then also in the in the finale, um, I really really did cool. They did some really good callbacks. Like a the um, there was a lot of episode one season one callbacks. Um, the the rock with the zombie with the rock when he was hitting the uh, hospital window. Same thing when they were in that strip mall or whatever it was. One of them hit it with a rock? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then obviously when uh, Shane blocked in the gurney for Rick, Daryl did the same thing for Judith. Um, that was a thing. Oh, obviously, yeah. And then taking place in a hospital overall. Yeah. Um, that, that, so they did some pretty solid callbacks. Um, and then I saw one on TikTok, actually, um, that I didn't realize. But when uh, Judith, uh, Judith got shot, Daryl gave blood. When Carl got shot, Rick gave blood. Oh yeah, um, stuff like that. Um, so I didn't notice that one off the bat. Um, but obviously Carl getting shot, Judith getting shot, that was pretty yeah. callback. But I really liked the little hospital scene when he uh, boxing there. So yeah, come back. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was like the Also, if you notice in one of the scenes, RJ is reading an Invincible comic. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, yeah. Uh, that was funny. I went, ha. Huh. Yeah, I was going to lie. They, like, they made sure they put that in. Yeah. Like, hey, we're ending this. Go check out the new season. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Robert Kirkman writes that. Yeah. I don't know if he helps produce it like the other one. But he yeah, does, because remember, he, uh, the Justice League and whatever they're called in um, Invincible were all voiced by like all like Walking Dead actors. Oh, yeah, that's like right. Maggie was Wonder Woman or whatever. Oh, yeah, that's I forgot right. their names, but yeah, it was like Morgan was one of them. I forgot, it was the yeah. Guardians of the Globe or something, yeah, kind of something, something like, like that. that. But yeah, oh. that, they were all cat, our voice actors for that. Um, Glenn is actually fucking uh, Invincible. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. I, I forgot about that. Man, Glenn. The show would have been dope if Glenn didn't die. But like another it, day. Yeah, we'll um, go back But this that. season, it was, oh, the middle was good. I think if they would have, I think they should have cut, like, the first five episodes with the Reapers. Yeah, or, like, cut it down to two. Because um, <coughs> what the fuck was the point of, <coughs> I, I want to go back, it was, like, 24 episodes. If they took out the Reaper episodes, I would have rated this higher. Yes, I think that was a waste of time. Like I said, it was all for food. Yeah. At the end of the day. And it amounted to nothing. Which was, like, yeah, it was like a pretty bad, like, except for like four people died. Yeah. More people died in the beginning of that for nothing than they did in the finale. Yeah. No, um, Jesus. Uh, and like people we like too, like that one guy uh, who she left in the church because his leg was broken. Uh, oh, yeah. I liked him. Uh, yeah, but again, the guy. middle of it was a lot better. Once they started getting into the Commonwealth arc, yeah. it was very interesting. Got a lot better. It felt a lot less filler. Yeah, it was like you said. Yeah, a lot was going on behind the scenes. There was like a external plot and a behind the scenes plot where like yeah. he seemed like a good guy. I how did you feel about Horsby? Because like I f- feel like he was trying to be good. I just think he was like what Pamela said. Like he wanted more he territory rem- so he could be like the leader of West Commonwealth. He reminded me. Yeah, he reminded me a lot of the governor. Yeah. In the aspect, I mean. But the governor was, like, always, like, fronting. Like, he's like, oh, I care, but he'd fucking murk everyone. And no matter who, like, he was le- he was legit an asshole. But I think Hornsby was, like, mentally on He was like, I, I really want this. I really want He thought about Yeah, this. I do think he did care. <laughs> like, he did want to help people, yeah. essentially. But he did, like what Pamela said when they finally had a talk, where, like, he wanted to make the Commonwealth so big that, like, she would run – the north or yeah. like she would be like the president but he would be like the vice president really yeah. doing everything anyway because they had gotten so big yeah um but it was like this weird thing where like they take over alexandria at one point because everybody's gone like yeah. aaron's gone the whole time he's yeah. not alexandria at all um, he's out. they like take the kids to commonwealth and basically leave them there yeah they all basically decide that's what's best for the kids uh daryl takes judith and uh Daryl takes Judith and RJ there, and he starts working there as a – I forgot what they're called. Officer. Stormtrooper. Um, they look like stormtroopers. Yeah. Daryl was pretty badass this season. Um, he had all the cool scenes where he was just fucking he everybody did. up. I really like the scene um, when he was, when they're in the sewers, and he's like, don't hurt him. He's like, all right. Bah! Oh, yeah, he's when they ca- oh, when he's about to kill Hornsby. Yeah. And he's like, oh, and he's so mad. And, yeah, that he stabs in his hand. He's, he's like, like, don't worry. He'll be all right. Him. Yeah. yeah. So that was cool. That was a good little plot twist. I wasn't expecting. I yeah. thought he was gonna run off all pissy, but now he stabbed him in the hand. Which that I will say, there were a few plot twists or like little jaw droppers, and I'm glad we had that. It's been a really long time. Yeah. Since I had that, like everything else is like super fucking predictable. Predictable. And walking dead now. I like that scene too because Mercer shows up and he's like, "Everybody stop!" Yeah. And fucking everybody stops moving except for Daryl. Yeah. That was cool. Him and Mercer and Daryl thing where, like, Daryl just does not ever listen nah, to anybody, ever. like, except for Rick. Yeah, Rick's, like, kinda, the only person yeah. Daryl would ever listen to. And even kind of. But Mercer's, like, this guy who would clearly beat the shit out of Daryl. Uh, he'd fucking wreck his shit. <laughs> and we, we had that he would, like, will not listen to Daryl at all. Like, Daryl's, like, the worst team player. No. He's the only little stormtrooper that never has to wear his freaking uniform. I know. Uniform. That was such bullshit. That annoyed me. That annoyed <laughs> Rosita me. always had to wear hers, but Sometimes, Daryl's always yeah. in his fucking. There's, like, one the one time. They made he made him put it on was when they were gonna they went to go storm uh, the hilltop and search yeah. that place because um, he was pissed at Maggie because he thought Maggie was the one who stole the guns, the guns but yeah. it was that Reaper bitch yeah we're just stupid yeah fuck her <laughs> um all right so now we're, I'm really gonna dive into my cons here um one thing I want to bring up is the inconsistent inconsistency with the whispers tactics. So what I mean by that is when it was Maggie, what was that black kid's name? 
Ian? Ian, sure. Ethan or Ian, Ethan or Ian or yeah. something? For that kid. The Lydia's boyfriend, right? Yeah, Lydia yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lydia was there, I believe. And then I f- someone else was with them. I think Negan. Um, so they like they did the thing. They wore the mask, whatever, walking zombies, guiding them this way or hurting them, and then brought them into like this half-assed like, rope fence, which is okay, whatever. It's, they're walkers. If you tie it tight enough, they'll be fine, right? And then right here, where we're shooting right now, let's say this is the walker fence. And then you guys can't see us, but there's like a window like across from here, like about like five feet away. That's where their fucking camp was. And they were like talky talky like normal. They weren't even whispering. <laughs> and like they're doing that. And like being nor- like how we're talking right now, normal voices, everything. And the walker's like, oh, yeah, we're fine. We're chilling. But and then we go to the finale or the episode prior to the finale. Um when it was Aaron, Jerry, Lydia, and then again Ian or Ethan or Lydia's boyfriend, and they're doing it. Do they're doing it right? They're whispering. They're only going with the flow of the walkers, and they're, they're talking about the users like, go this way. Yeah. Like they're doing that. Like how it's always been, and how they demonstrated it in this season prior. Yeah, you're right. Like now I never thought about it. yeah, but when Negan and all them were doing it, but it'd be weird because when Negan and all them do it, they put the mask on. Yeah. And do it. But you're right, they just be talking. Yeah. But Lydia and them do it and it's like they just smear guts on them and yeah, then, they, they but then they'd be like whispering and yeah. it's like, so what do you have to do? Do you have what is what do you need the yeah. mask for? Like what are the mask <laughs> like Yeah. I don't get why do you need to wear the mask. I guess the mask well, is if you're going to storm a base well, so, the, yeah, so they can't yeah. tell you're human. And I, yeah. But even if you were walking in the fucking yeah, thing. Yeah, no, you like, don't need the, – the masses were for the whispers that was their cult type yeah. thing. But, like, other than their cult type but thing. But when Negan and them did it, they all put on masks. Yeah, they all when, killed zombies. That's what I'm to. saying. Yeah, I don't know why they did That's what you're right. It makes sense if Negan it's not had it because they one, like, they yeah. all didn't need one. Yeah, it was like this weird thing where, like, yeah, it is weird where – and then, like – Sometimes they'll fuck up and like the zombies just don't remember anymore. They're like, yeah. I thought it was like you make one slip up and all the zombies eat you, and now yeah. they're all like the scene at the end where it's like they're like grabbing each other, trying to play. It's like they're like, nope, we're just throwing zombies yeah. in a little horde. And they're like, oh no, oh, no. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's like, I, don't they realize you're not a zombie and then that's they what eat they you? Then? Done. Yeah, I, I understand getting pushed, but um. I forgot his name, but the guy who he's the kazoo guy, like he did it right. His wife got trampled. He's like, oh fuck, I can't do anything. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like he went with it, yeah. and then Lydia didn't kind of listen, and she paid the price. She got like, bit, but I felt like her boyfriend was doing the same thing, and nobody bit yeah. him though. That's yeah, what I'm getting. Going. He like I know, but he was still I agree. like. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> like I agree, Lydia, but I will. I, I will say in that one, Lydia was like making a little too much more noise. The homeboy was staying silent. He's like, bitch, shut up. That's not. Uh, also, with the brand, was there any more? Uh, the vi- uh that new show was it from those kids were from the Commonwealth? What new? Sh- uh, Do you know the new show with the, it was like in the future beyond. with the little kids? Yeah, was that were they from the Commonwealth? Uh, I, I watched know. one episode of that. I was like, this is dog. I, 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 yeah, me too. I, I can't remember anything. Worst uh, show ever. Um, but I did want to bring up the Walker variants, the ones that can climb. It's fucking stupid. That was weird. I, I mean, I wouldn't say it's stupid. It's like, stupid. I guess it, at some point that's a natural progression. But but I feel like they just don't go into it at all and yeah. like. It one randomly pops up every now and then, like oh, he jumped in the truck and that randomly, and yeah. it fucked the plan up. And there was one that had a knife. Nothing ever happened. Yeah, what the fuck? What did they show him pick the knife up for? If he I was thought gonna... it was that one, but it yeah, never I th- was. maybe it was. And he just, it, that, I guess no. we should have just remembered he had the knife and he was gonna. But use he it. never used it. Yeah, that I'm was the right. thing. I wouldn't remember. Yeah, you're right. One picked up a knife and nothing ever happened yeah. again. So that was stupid. Um, but speaking about the that. Um, yeah, I didn't like that at all. I thought it was really, really stupid. They're running out of it. I felt like they were running out of ideas. And I don't think it's stupid. I do think they run out of ideas. Like I feel like that's a natural progression. If there was zombies, eventually they start doing stuff like that. Like, but they always demonstrated it as these, the walkers or zombies are rotting. They're decaying over time. And like, if they're supposed to be just eventually they all decay to like nothing, like how the fuck are they evolving if they all they done since day one is decay? Well, I mean, that's, I, part, I would that's say how I, in their universe. In my head, I'm not thinking they're I'm evolving. Might be world, maybe remembering they're all humans and they're still like they were at one point. So remember, maybe they're remembering things they could do or like they're seeing you do like the guys that are running away from them do it, and it's like. Um, in theory, only the, I won't know, say smart zombies, but the ones that weren't too stupid are the, are the ones that are still alive. So maybe they're they're learning. I don't know. Uh, uh, I, I wish it, like, didn't ever come back. 
No. Except for that one that hits the window, but you're saying that happened in the first episode, so it's yeah. like that was always a thing. So yeah, but even they're always inconsistent with it. But I was like, what the argument for the first one is like they were still fresh. You know what I mean? Yeah, this has been like 12 years, and like they're all like d- disgusting, rotting fucking molds. So that was my issue. It just felt. Uh, I'll go. I'll I'll somewhat agree with it. I think it is pointless, but I will agree with you on the point. Is like they never expanded. Yeah. Like, oh, this I, is just I, a I thing. think I think you're we're we're both kind of right. We're like I agree that it was kind of whack because it just like it, they don't do anything with it. I yeah. do think they could have made it cool or like at some point they started running or starting in the beginning. Yeah, the, the beginning. But then they dropped out like the last two episodes. Yeah, that's what shit. I'm saying. Like maybe like at some point like this season they started running for yeah. some reason like or whatever reason whatever, yeah. or there's certain ones that run like. I would have been okay with that. Yeah, or I don't Something. know. I, don't, like, yeah. I would have hated it. They just, like, brought it up. They're like, oh. And then, like you said, there's a scene where one picks up a knife, but he never does anything. Yeah. But the one that picks up a rock, used the rock. I'm like, Maybe they cut the scene with a knife. Yeah. I mean, they should have cut the scene. It's like a zombie having a knife fight with Mercer. He's like, oh, yeah. what's up, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mercer from the future, but Tommy, there's some dumb shit. Uh. But, yeah, no, that was awful. Um, I do want to highlight um, Negan uh, for a moment as a con. Excuse me. Um. Even though I did give him praise uh, for, uh, he's was, he's was a highlight in general this season. He's he's always been entertaining on screen for the most part. Um, but one thing I did not like at all, for two reasons, um, his, his whole wife kids arc. A, the, he, every fucking sentence is like, "Hey, I gotta go home. My wife's having a kid." Like it's like every fucking, I got a wife and kid. Man. Yeah, they I got a wife be- and kid. They're beating us. To death I was like, "I'll fucking kill your wife and kid." Like it I was don't. It was like the Negan apology tour for his wife yeah. and kid. It was like it's the like ridiculous. The, the, the he was moral like of the lined story. up. He was like, "Yeah, wife and kid. <laughs> He's got a kid." I'm like, "We know. We fucking know." Um, but also, uh, the reason I, the a they beat us over the head with it, and then also. It's the series fucking finale. It's like we don't care. No one cares right now. You should have done a season or two ago if you yeah. really wanted to do that. Yeah, I this is like the that was like a wasted thing where it's like just who cares? They should focus on the. I, I felt like they did it because they they needed a reason. I like oh this is why Negan's trying to redeem himself. But I feel like him doing all that. He was already shit. doing that. Yeah, though. I felt yeah. So it's like I feel like that was just an added reason for him yeah. to not take off and run even more. I yeah. don't know. It was stupid. It just felt pointless because like. The one thing that I did not like for the most uh, big part I did not did not like for this season was they were doing a lot of a lot more introductory stuff than conclusion stuff in general. It's like I understand introducing Commonwealth that I'm not I'm not complaining about that. I understand. They're the villain. Yeah, so that's fine. But like Negan storyline, showing new characters that no one fucking cares about, like True. like you you should be do- closing as many chapters as you can. Uh, that's what the main point should be. Um, and that, that'll actually tie into my next point. No one fucking died. Like, Rosita? Yeah. Like, well, are you that, fucking we were talking me? about this a couple days ago, or maybe yesterday, where um, they made all those spinoffs. Um, yeah, it was ridiculous. And announced them before the show was over. Yeah, so that it's ruined like, it. Yeah, now it's like, point. now nobody can die. They're all protected by plot armor. Yeah. Um, is Carol getting the spinoff? They should like kill her. So yeah, I I do have some point. I do want to bring out the spinoffs in a bit. Uh, but no, the Carol Daryl one is canceled. I believe. Um, I don't know if it changed, but uh, last time I heard it was canceled. Um, they but killed her then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was like, I would have been okay. I, obviously, I don't want any of the characters to die, but it's the fucking series the finale. finale. Yeah. So who died? Luke or or the dude who played the harmonica? Yeah, who fuck? Who cares? Who could? Do you care? Comedy I mean, he's been in the care. show for a long time. Uh, not long enough. But he, he was he, he wasn't even in this whole season. He just popped up. He's like, hey. And I was like, the second I saw him, I'm like, you're just going to use him yeah. to die. I thought he was going to die you. when his wife got grabbed. Yeah, he should have. Um, okay. Well, that well, it was a weird thing where they just wanted to do a scene with him crying because he got bit then. And yeah. then they chopped his arm off or his leg died. off and he died from shock because yeah. of his, it's like, why don't you just fucking just leave him out there and die? die. Like, yeah. like, let him have a cool day. Wasted five minutes now. We yeah, they're just... crying. I'm like, actually, shoot all of them. <laughs> shoot all of these bitches. Zombie, can you please bite all yeah, of them, please? Right there. Right there. Nom, 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 uh. nom, nom. So stupid. Like, I um, I would have been okay. Death, I would have been okay with. I'm thinking off the top of my head. Because I'm about to roast the fuck out of Rosita's death in a minute. Um, I would have been okay with 
uh, the deaf girl dying. Any of that group, really. Mm. Just to add some, because they've been around for a yeah. while. I would like not the fucking. They guy. killed the one that hasn't. That's been around the, the least. Yeah. Like fuck you. Like you didn't. Men are trash. Yeah. That's why they killed them. Yeah, it's exactly. <laughs> it. It's such bullshit. Um, who else would I have been okay with? Father Gabriel. That would have been a hard one. Yeah. That well, been I a, feel like Rosita's along the lines of Father Gabriel. They've been I around guess. the same amount of time, and they're together. They had a kid together. Yeah, so I get fine. But um, Rosita, I'm glad they killed. I also. Fucking I'm glad they killed her. I don't know fucking about glad. She's. I actually. Like felt two. feelings when she fell off the thing. No, I glad. felt like that was the first time where I'm like, no, what the? Oh, I guess because she had a baby strapped to her too. Don't get me fucking started on that. <laughs> Wait, let me say who I want to die first because I'm about to go in on that bullshit ass. All right. Um, where was the baby on the front? Don't of her? get me started, <laughs> Sean. Because it's not. It doesn't. Fuck it. We're gonna do it right now. We're gonna do it right now. So it doesn't make sense. She falls on her back, right? Is the baby on her back? On her fucking front, and all the zombies pile onto her. So like, all right, she may lives, but her baby's right here. The zombies are touching her. The baby fucking lives. Well, the baby. To be fair, the baby's like extra wrapped, like real tight. So they might not. It would have been eat. Like they were. Like they might have been trying to get the baby, but they couldn't get to like. It was like double wrapped. Like, I think it's stupid anyway. I do think it was stupid. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like it made sense. It couldn't get to the baby. I just thought it was silly that she got up and was like, ah. I'm a powerful woman and like beat back like 50 zombies. I, was like, like, I hate you. Then climbed on the thing and then jumped. I was just like, what? It's bullshit. Just to be bit at all in and, the first place. And then she got bit on the back. Yeah. Like on the back? Like I'm, maybe the little leg. I would have been okay if it was the ankle because she was climbing and stuff. But I was like on the back perfectly where you landed. And that, like, Maybe that's you. why she fell, because when she was climbing up, one of them, like, I don't know. I don't know. It was stupid. It was. It, it was, was stupid. So but stupid. when she fell, I felt feelings. Her inside. baby was fine. Her baby was fine. <laughs> Should have killed the kid. Should have let the baby die. That would have been more impactful. If her and the baby die, I'd be like, you know, Walking Dead, you do your shit. I would, not be, I would have been complaining. You know what was silly, too, with their babies? Their, their kids are at that daycare. They go. There's, like, zombies just eating, but they're not eating the crying babies yeah. that are, like, like, I thought they were attracted to noise. Wouldn't yeah. they just knock that thing over and or, eat the baby? Or like, not even knock it over, but at some point, like, at least seven like, of them. Like, shut up, kid. Were, yeah. Like, yeah. like Seven of them be on it. Yeah, they're, like, in a, uh, an apartment and eat zombies just like, oh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm eating I'm eating my own specific meal yeah. over here. I don't hear that crying I'm baby. I'm a diet. When every scene we've ever seen with zombies, as soon as you make a noise, they you stop doing whatever they're doing yeah. and start chasing you. They're like, no. Oh, we're just gonna leave these delicious kids baby, who can't baby plot armor. <laughs> baby fucking plot armor. That whole that whole scene was bullshit. That like, was so th silly. Like well, it made zombies. no sense to me. It's just like they run into this apartment. There's like six walkers in there. They're eating people, and then there's like two babies with cribs over the top like screaming I'm bloody yeah it's basically just screaming it's like one of the zombies like and all you have to do is like push the thing yeah. over it's not like they're well, in at least like pile and crush it yeah exactly I mean? or like the baby wouldn't know to run away from you so no. you could just eat it because its right. hand would have been yeah. right there like who's even holding the bars I'm yeah like, that's what really i'm saying can't. but it's so it's like this fucking stupid thing where like the zombies just like oh baby crying is they didn't know the whole walking dead they yeah. could have deterred zombies with crying babies yeah. they they're like, they, you're good you're good you're <laughs> safe that's what they had to actually on her chest because they heard the baby cried. <laughs> that's why she yeah. exactly. That's yeah, why she right, couldn't. Yeah. Get... Oh, when she fell down, the baby started crying. I'm like, oh no, she's not here. She's not here, guys. <laughs> Idiots. That annoyed me so much. That baby should have died for just that practicality reason. But yeah, I didn't like that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm glad I got that out the way because that's been boiling in my body since I saw that. It pissed me off. But who else I wanted to die? Um. Carol, I, I'll agree with Carol. She, her arc I wouldn't is say done. I wanted her to die. No. I'm just saying, like, uh, you I did spend okay off, but it. I, it's a finale. It's like she has no kids. Her she arc doesn't, is done. She does, yeah, exactly. She had nowhere to go. Like, you know what I mean? She's just like, she could have killed her. And she's like, she's got a bodies on her head. Like, she's done some evil shit. So it's not like you're yeah. killing like somebody who's ultra good. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that was. Carol. Um. I like Ezekiel running Commonwealth. I'm okay with that. Ezekiel and Mercer because Ezekiel is a natural leader. Ezekiel, the one thing I didn't like about him, it's kind of the Negan. He got a lot of fucking speeches too. I feel like he he's was, always been a speech. I know, guy. but like he would get like lot. one a season or two. This one, he was just like every episode. every episode. He was like the people of the Commonwealth got to yeah. stand up and fight. Like or like when they're slaves at that one yeah. place, he's like <laughs> monologuing. Yeah. I was like, oh my god. I will. I mean, I agree. With that. And he's it just got that radio voice, so it just stands out. Like it, does. it sounds like when he finishes talking, they're gonna do like a musical right after. <laughs> like oh. beautiful. Um, but no, yeah, I, I will agree. It was a little more than I can bear for dialogues in general this season. 
Um, but it makes sense for Ezekiel's character. I re- it was a lot. It did, I mean, it didn't. It wasn't out of character yes. for him. It just like it was a little much. Yeah, I will agree. Too, they, it was. They just kept putting him in situations. Like, where what he do had we do to, here? Monologue. Yeah, <laughs> monologue. Let me, let me give you guys a speech. Yeah. Oh. Um. But yeah, that and then, oh yeah, the corny one-liners and dialogue was so stupid. Um, like uh, when uh, Carol saw Hornsby and was like the Walker. That whole thing. Um, he's like, oh, oh no, Pamela's like, uh, to Horns, he's like, you always said you help out the Wilsons, <laughs> and like, shut up. There's a lot of dumb shit. Or then, speak about speeches. The I liked it, and then it ruined it for me. It reminded me a lot of fucking, excuse me, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Um, Falcon makes his dumbass speech, and then Daryl makes a fucking speech. Are you fucking kidding me? I was so stupid because at first it was like it was it was in that courtyard, and they weren't letting them in. And then I, they should have left it after when, uh, Daryl said, what the hell are you doing? Like, that sounds like a Daryl thing. And then he's like, and then he makes those speech. Where are the people? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, you're right. That was kind of whack. Cause you're right. The, what Daryl initially said, like, what the fuck? Like yeah. that was a Daryl thing. And I felt like they just kept like, that's why I didn't like all the Negan apologies. I was fine with the one, the Herschel one, the Maggie one. That's Cause it was like arc. a, a, a fuck you apology too. Yeah. Like, I'm kind of sorry, but y'all people killed a lot yeah. of my people too. So like, let's let bygones be bygones. Let's yeah. end this. And, and the kind of the same with Herschel where he was like, I'm not apo- really apologizing. You know what I mean? When you get older, we can handle it. Yeah. But, uh, we can't do that right now. Yeah. But all, like I said, some of the other ones are like, you said, my wife, my kid, I'm sorry. Like, my wife, my kid. yeah. Saying it's like, come on now. There's just too many speeches. Yeah. Um, Daryl doesn't need a speech. He's one thing I don't like about the Commonwealth too, it's like they were so advanced. They had those Gatling guns. They're like, oh, the horde's gonna kill us. Like, I can't set them on fire. Oh, y'all can't right. machine gun them down. Like, y'all like they're like, no, we have to make a final stand at the all gate. Right. Like, you <laughs> like, oh, uh, like that was weird too. Or like that was the only option. It's like, but they blew up that area. They could have just set it up around there. Yeah, like, or, like guiding them to a place to blow yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah, like oh, right. Oh, oh yeah, right when they got close to the gate set up mines or something like you know what i mean y'all got a gatling guns you gotta have a rocket launcher too somewhere right or just take a flamethrower out there set them on fire or let, light the grass they right had, there like, on soldiers and everything yes they, they, they had like, hundreds yeah. of soldiers so it may like even fuck fuck all that just line up the hundreds of soldiers and for four hours eventually yeah. they'd be done like you load load a clip we'll switch next row unload a clip reload like they could have just did that for hours and eventually the zombies would have been dead but like it just it was just like they were it was like plot move the plot forward we're gonna like do handle this so poorly yeah. uh i don't know if it was more like it was them saying like hornsby stretched their units too far and they were i think it was that then also like it was pa- a com- pamela was like commanding that a black girl saying don't do this and she was like oh i have to listen to pamela yeah it was that type of thing a combination i of think it, i think it was for that i think correct me if i'm wrong guys um where Pamela wanted that shit to happen. Well, yes, Pamela was she just wanted to bring him to the gate. She didn't expect that one to climb up there, bite the oh, guy, yeah. and the gate to open. Yeah, she was just like she wanted them to be at the gate because they couldn't knock the gate. They had like a real yeah. wall. wall. She just wanted them there so she can go look. They're right outside the gate. You guys need to go all go back in your houses. Yeah. And but that one climbs the fucking yeah, thing and then right. bites the guy. Okay, that's what I thought. And he like fucking like a fucking Three Stooges movie. He's like whoa 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 yeah, whoa. whoa. It opens <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh I fell. Yeah, I like, that's what they, like I don't. I feel like that's where they should have brought the variant in. Where like it was a new way. Where like you kind of said when they're fresh, they still kind of remember what they used to yeah. do. And he, they bite him. He turns, and then he's like, "Oh, I know to pull this thing and like do that." Or, but should, it, it was kind of whack. He's like, "Oh, I'm dying! Oh, open the window! Yeah. <laughs> like, open the gate!" Guys, I'm on the ground. Wait, <laughs> oh, <laughs> open the oh, one oh, gate where they can all get in. Fuck like, you. Oh, it's so fucking, fucking stupid. Fucking Walking Dead. Um, one thing I, um, you brought this up. I'll let you kind of go in it. Uh, actually, I'll bring. There's two points. I'll say this point first, and then I'll let you go in uh, for just the second half. Um, they've been doing this in general since she, she's. She did, they did the time jump, but it was really prevalent in this uh, season for me. Was uh, Judith becoming the new Carl? That's always been a thing coming when uh, the whole like Negan in prison thing, this and that. But for whatever reason, she was like, "I want to be like my brother Carl." I'm like, "You were fucking too, bitch." Like it, that stuff bothered me. I, I don't know. It just it didn't hold the same weight for me because we we kind of know her and like we don't have the same emotional connection as we did to Carl and stuff like that. So it was very weightless to me whenever she was like, oh, I want to do this, like my brother. Like, yeah, you're 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 becoming the new Carl, but you're like, I want to do it 
like my dad, like my mom, like Carl, like so the people that are dead or just down on the show, you want to be like them, and you're the one that. No offense to her, it's it's just how her character isn't the one who holds the least amount of weight for whatever you're trying to do. I just didn't like that. I would say, um, just be fair. Like you can call it whatever you want. Nobody wants to see a little girl doing a bunch of zombie killing, like and like being in dangerous situations. You can. That's not me. That's just society. Like no, like she couldn't be Carl because yeah. it's cool when a little boy does it. Nobody like she's a little princess. Nobody wants. And to she see her. hasn't been a. She wasn't in the muck like how Carl was. Yeah, and grew up. You know what I mean? Where like she grew up in like a real town. But either way, it's just like she's younger <laughs> and smaller than Carl was. Um, and Carl more so like. Like I said, he was just bigger. He was a boy, and and she's a little tiny girl just because you gave her Rick's hat. Yeah. And she knows how to shoot that little twenty two, and she's got fucking needle or whatever the fuck 357. it is. 357. It's like that's a really – those scenes don't work out. Like they wouldn't work the same as like when Carl did it where yeah. Carl shows up to Negan's compound and shooting people. Like yeah. what, okay, let's insert Judith. Like that would have been lame as hell if, was, even if Judith age, did that. Like, the age was wrong because like the, the age she is now is like the first few initial seasons of Carl like in the comics. We're going to go with the comics. That's how they're trying to do it because yeah. – I mean, Carl was getting older, but even then, who cares? Um, they, he killed him off for a different reason. But again, make sure to tune in for that episode because we're going to be break down a lot of stuff. Walking Dead is going to be a really good episode, guys. I'm really excited to do that. But um, in the comics, it was like uh, from a, day one to like uh, the prison around that time after the prison. They're on the road a lot. Um, uh, pretty much before I was after Governor. um Right before Negan, I think around that time, he was like around Judith's age for that time. Obviously, you age throughout the fucking comic, but he was a kid at that time. And then Negan came around. Uh, I believe he was in his 14, 15. Uh, that we'll push it to 16. Um, oh, so, uh, no, it's 14, 15. And then uh, Whispers came, he was like 16 to 18 around that time. Um, so, but Judith is young. So like the, the age they have her at is like, she can't pass it. It can't. Carl can't even be Carl at that age for this plot. Like it doesn't make sense. And again, it's a fucking eight year old girl. Nobody wants to see like, it it just isn't going to look right. Her doing anything in the middle of an apocalypse where all the bad guys are adults. Like I hated it. It kind of makes sense sometimes when it's a 16 year old boy. Like he's, that's basically your man. Like. You're an adult, like especially in a in a in a, a fucking, survival scenario. Yeah, a survival scenario. You yeah. are a man. Like a, she is just a little girl. I felt they thrust her into it. It's like I feel like if they wanted her to been in it, they should have had Michonne in it because yeah. then she could have been on her hip. But mm-hmm. like Daryl, Daryl isn't the type to bring Judith with him. Like no. the only reason at the end is because they had to. Yeah. But she basically would just be at home because there's nowhere for her to be. So like you said, like. She, there was no build up to it, so when she's in these serious scenes, it's like, bitch, you've been at home yeah. the whole time. Like, because even fuck? that time jump, what was she? She's just been chilling and accident. There was no war, or and it's like, like the that. only thing sad about her getting shot is like, oh, that's Rick's daughter. Yeah. Like, she well, she ain't even got no skin in the game. No. Like, she had like one little scary scene yeah. where fucking uh, the zombies almost get her in Aaron's basement or whatever. But it's like that was a cool scene. That was in general that whole time. That was a pretty cool little thing. But like I said, fine, do some shit like that. But like this thing where like you're inserting her into the main storyline where like you haven't she's, built it they were she was in a gunfight yeah. like in the middle of a train station when she fucking pushes daryl out of the way to save him like what the hell is going stop on it. right now like exactly stop it, it what eight-year-old girl's like oh blah, blah, blah. i'm gonna All take right. the bullets when she like what the fuck is going I on didn't, i didn't like that it's no i didn't either it was stupid like i know you were saying like oh it's foreshadowing for carl but at least carl was like a dude was shooting a deer and shot him well yeah that's what i was gonna go into is like so with carl is so Compare and contrast real quick. I, I don't want to give all my points away. Um, but compare and contrast is like Judith the whole time has pretty much been Alexandria. So for majority of her life, most of her life, she has been safe in the zombie apocalypse. And her mom, Michonne, would take her out. And her dad would take her out too, probably. Well, there's been a couple times learn. in the recent seasons where Alexandria fell. and. But recent. recent. Yeah. And what I'm saying is yeah. the gap years where we didn't see. Uh, so I'm just going off her character. So for like 10 years, she was fine. Yeah. Um, and then Carl, day one, all the way up to X, he's been fighting. Like, they didn't have shit for yeah. a long time. So he had to learn that way. That's why age better. That's why it makes sense for him because he understands it more. And Judith. And he was getting under- trained by yeah. Shane. And he was at the age where he was Rick's understudy. Yeah. Where like, again, in a survival situation, back closer to not modern times when you're 13, 14, 
you follow your dad at the hip and you become what he is. And yeah. Rick was a savage. So yeah. his son was going to be a savage. Five Rick, like, guys. <clears throat> Prime. But yeah, that I didn't like this shit. Hold weight. Um, yeah. and then you brought this up and I did agree with this. I, um, let me say this first. I think it would have been better. Uh, um, Judith's narration, I didn't like that at all. It would have been better if it was either past characters or any character, any current Whoever character. they were doing it about. Yeah. Yeah, like, it was weird, like, Judith telling a bunch of narrations of shit she wasn't even there for. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't know. Again, like, uh, for a character they, in, like, created in the show, like, they were trying to give her too much screen time. Yeah, it was especially like, for, like, the last few episodes. That's what I'm confused is, like, they had her around for a good a good amount of time, but they never really built with her. Yeah, I would have remembered. That's what I was saying. Stuff. Like, but now been, we got a final season. Her. She's gonna be in the final episode. She's gonna be in it. She's been sitting in Alexandria the first freaking three twenty yeah. episodes. She had one episode where the where they were in the house and the zombies got in. That yeah. was it. Where she was a part of it. Like all the rest of them, she was just. And the Commonwealth being a kid, a normal kid, and like norm, like doing that stuff. Like, yeah, that, that just it was not hitting for me wow. and. Because they didn't build it properly, like I said, they they were so focused on these spinoffs. Because and that's what also ruined the series for me too. Is like what you said earlier. Is like, all right, we're gonna watch it, but we know Negan this guy, die. this guy, this guy. We this know guy Maggie die. can't die. Yeah. We know Daryl and uh, Carol aren't gonna die at yeah. the time because at the time they were do, be, they when were this, when it do, it yeah out. when it did end, they were planning on doing a Carol and Daryl. So it's like none of those guys can die. Yeah, it's just stupid. It's like, so we, so it's like, all right, we know a people, few people are to die. So it's like, oh, bam, we know Rosita. Like you said, I would have guessed Rosita or the priest were going to die. One of them. Yeah. And then one of the, from the other group. Take which Eugene. Happened. Fuck it. Eugene. I probably, like I said, Eugene seemed like somebody. That would have been a good death. Like I was saying, it's like, I don't, obviously none of these characters, I don't want them to die, but it's your serious finale. Are you going to come back to the show? No, you're killing off the people who aren't making spinoffs. That's what you should have done. Mm-hmm. Have a few people live and whatever, but carry on. Like who fucking cares? Like. You're not coming back to the show. You're at, you've ended it. Like you may do f- some spinoffs, like you've announced, but kill them off. Like why we still have so many people left over. Like you should, have, yeah, maybe leave air. I like Jerry. Jerry was cool. I would have been really sad if Jerry died. I would. That would have been a good death though. Jerry's. A, I thought loved Jerry him. was gonna die. I thought so too. But yeah, that would have been. No. That would have been I a, didn't want Jerry to die. No, I did it. But that that's. But the that point. that would have been. That's what I'm saying. That's somebody like fuck. I don't want Jerry to die yeah. when he got hurt. I'm like, no, not but Jerry. Jerry. Oh, uh, but Lydia lives. Fuck you. Oh yeah, I really wanted Lydia to live. She was being so weird. Like, shut up. Like, God, it's so whiny. Like, um, should have killed more. Also, one thing uh, I will say that I really didn't like about the end, and I was telling Tom this before. I wish they would have gave us more than like two minutes of what was going on in the future, like to end it. Like, especially this show that's had so many time jumps and Tarantino moments where they go into the future and then they come back. Like how they at the end of the show where like they save the Commonwealth and then it's just like Ezekiel's president. Oh yeah, it was they like do a like later. a quick yeah they do like a quick montage, but like all you see is like Ezekiel's president. Yeah, and Mercer was yeah with Eugene's them. got a kid now. Yeah, with that girl with the chick like so it's been about a year. Yeah, too. I was like I was hoping to like I told Tom I wish they would have showed like them riding the train. Like I wish it was like fifteen or they 20 didn't minutes. show the train at all. Yeah, or, so post. Yeah, now. that's what I meant. Like I wish they would have showed like. Them taking the train to Oceanside or to Alexandria yeah. to see Judith or whatever. I think it should have just been like a 20 minute <coughs> and instead, since because it was going to be the series finale, and yeah. you want to see like all what the arcs they closing. built. Like, yeah, like they where, who's that. who? Did, did, did they all stay at the Commonwealth since yeah. they were in charge now? Like, why go anywhere else? That seems like the best place. Best place yeah. did Maggie go back to the hilltop. Like, did Aaron go back to fucking Alexandria? Like that's I wanted. And you to, had to pay attention for two minutes, like really hard. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna go back, like you said. Oh, he had a baby, so it's gotta have been like a year, yeah. right? Like shit, like that. Like I want to know, like two years later. Some de- they've done that before yeah. already, so it's like I want some definitive answers. And I thought that was kind of whack, where they just like ended it, like with this little half-ass two-minute montage yeah. where Carol and Daryl say goodbye and. Then they also like, oh, we're going to do a choppy ass, another two minute montage. But Dale says bye to every community. Uh, no, I'm saying we're like, no, where it's out of context and it's oh, Michonne yeah. and Rick, where it's like, we're just going to give you a bunch of different scenes of Rick and Michonne alone, not together, out of context. Or a spit out. Yeah, it's, gonna, it's like, fuck what the fuck? You. But they should have done, and I think this would have saved the season a lot better, those five to six episodes. They did for the fucking Reapers. They should have whatever they were doing for this miniseries. They should have incorporated that into this final season. Why not? Like, yeah, what? Well, uh, I, I would have done the like I said with the Reapers. I would have done like one episode, whatever, whatever, one or two. Yeah. Like I just like I said, I'm fine with the whole. We need food. Yeah. We've done that before. 
But why is it like six episodes? Like, damn, these people dead? You've been gone for two weeks. Like, yeah, it didn't make sense at all. Um, yeah, it just. <clears throat> it, I think it was. I, I felt like it was just like this weird thing they were wasting to give Daryl like a love arc. No one cared. Yes, no one gave no a one, fuck. No one gave a fuck. No like, one gave a single fuck because they built it wrong. Like they built it wrong. Like it just. <sighs> That's all I gotta say about that. Um, but I will say those of this uh, this season was the first time in a long time that I've uh, I've watched it without knowing what happened in the comics. So I don't know. I probably would have rated it lower. Um, I haven't given my rating obviously yet, but uh, I would have rated this lower probably if I read the comics and had the knowledge prior. But I, I walked into it uh, pretty keep down step on the court champ. Uh, pretty uh, nude, pretty raw, unknowledgeable. Is that a, is pretty new? I've never heard anybody describe like, oh, I'm pretty nude to this subject. Yeah, nude, <laughs> naked, bare. I mean, I guess it works. I just never heard anybody use it like that. Is that, I'll look is it up. that an we'll, issue? No, we'll, we'll discuss. I'm not saying it's an issue. I just don't know. Smoky blueberry blow pop. Uh, no. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, That's exactly. a made up thing. That yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but you want to rate it? Uh, let me see how much time. Yeah, we got enough time um, to do a and final So points. like I said before, um, I didn't like the beginning. I thought the middle was pretty juicy and interesting. I have a lot of qualms about the finale. But all in all, I thought it was pretty okay quality. Like I said, it wasn't horrible. The last few seasons I had thought had been unwatchable and terrible, I and mean, this was far from that. Shit. But I will give it a 5.3. Holy shit. Um, I thought, like I said, I thought it was watchable. There was a probably eight to ten episode stretch where I was really locked in, where I was like, "Fuck, this shit's good." Like, that's fair. Um, they didn't close all the loopholes like I yeah. like. They didn't do it like I like, but what show ever does? Uh, there are plenty of things I didn't like about it, but I thought they got their shit together and at least made a watchable series finale that they and uh, that was tolerable. Yes, it was tolerable. Like and. Like I said, not like the last other seasons where I was just like, this is terrible. I wanted to kill myself. <laughs> I think suicide would have been better. Um, so, you, so what was your rating? 5.3. 5.3. That's extremely high, in my opinion. <laughs> um, I give it, honestly, a 3.8. Um, the Hornsby stuff was really intriguing. The the middle the middle section. Uh, uh, until, what? After the Reapers. Yeah. The So start of the Commonwealth. And then all the way up to prior to uh, Eugene's trial was really good. I enjoyed that yeah. part. That little section right there was really entertaining. I really liked that a lot. Um, but again, not enough main character deaths, like Sean said. Um, not enough uh, closing of the loops, conclusions. Way too many introductions to a series finale. Like, are, shut up. Like, it's a series finale. Why are we starting new stories that may or may not end this season or this series, I should say? Um, way too many fucking dialogues, too many corny one liners. Um, the whole, like he said, the apology tour, but it was more so for me that I got really annoyed with was ah, my wife and kids, my wife and kid. But it was still, it was like, I'm apologizing for my wife and kid. Yeah. Like, <laughs> hey man, my wife, my wife needs a break. She got a kid. <laughs> She's my wife and she got a kid, wife and kid. You know how it is, man. <laughs> kids hey, and wife. hey, soldier. Yeah, you have a family? That's my wife and kid right there. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Shoot them. <laughs> yeah, like I, that annoyed me a lot. Um, a, a lot. A lot of waitlist scenes, I will say, for the most part. Um, th there were some highlights, but again, there were a few highlights. And for a series finale and how much I love this show, um, it's been on downfall for a while. Like I said, guys, tune in for that episode. We're going to break down. It's going to be a really good episode. It's going to be a long episode, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, three point is I have to give it that. Especially with the whole uh, announcement of the miniseries before you even fucking finish, yeah. your sh series finale ruins the finale in general because you know, oh, these people are, are fine, these people are fine, like fucking ruins it. So yeah, guys, that is it for this episode. Do us a favor, leave a like and subscribe down below. Leave a comment what you thought about the series finale, what you did and didn't like, if you agree or disagree with any of our points. Follow us on TikTok and Instagram. Links are on the screen and down below. Other than that, I'm Tom. This is Sean, and we'll see you guys next episode. Take care.